ready to decorate miniature cakes that are also mystery boxes? Yes, a mystery box of miniature cake decorating. I know it's weird, I'm also weirded out, but we're gonna find this out together. And so introducing Crafty Cakes. This cake set and craft decoration was recommended to me by none other than Amazon. And when we look at the Amazon posting, first of all, you'll see that each one of these is $15 US. Don't worry, I will tell you the full tally of how much I paid for these. It's, um, hang on, you know what, I'm gonna tell you. I got three of them, so that's 45 US plus $20 shipping and handling to Canada. That's $65 US, so initially, <laughs> Kitty editor, take out your kitty cat, the cute little calculator. No, not the regular one, the cute, the cute calculator. Yeah, that one. Okay, now do $65 US and change it to Canadian. Mm-hmm, I paid this much. But the concept behind this crafty cakes type of craft and mystery box is that you're getting a bunch of stuff. So you can see we have quite a few things going on over here and then more decorations. I can't help but looking at the cakes and they look like an absolute mess. I'm curious if we can make them actually look good or if it's just going to look like this. You know what, let, let me zoom in. That is, that is a mess. There's a lot of drizzle though. So I'm curious on the different kinds of liquids they're going to be giving us in this kit. You know what, there, there was already a zoomed in mess. <laughs> Listen, I don't mean to craft shame. I'm not craft shaming. I'm just saying certain things could have done. I'm just saying. Watch me actually make it worse. Watch me. <laughs> and then we have more surprises. So where the mystery box is also, it looks like we get a topper and you can get one of three different kinds of toppers. So that's going to be interesting. Okay, we have ice cream. Is that it? That is it. So I'm pretty much curious to know if this is worth your cash or if it goes. Get ready with me. <clears throat> Let me know which one of these three is your favorite theme. We have the fantasy theme. Yes, they did a pun. It's fantasy. We also have the sweet dazzle, which I'm guessing is just purely dessert. And then we have the magic horn kind of theme. I have to say the magic horn theme is kind of the one that piques my interest the most because I love creatures of darkness. Speaking of Creatures of Darkness, if you grains haven't picked up your very own Creatures of Darkness coloring book that was made by me, Muse Kits, and Sarah Rose, they are still available for grabs. In this kit, you're going to be getting 22 gorgeous illustrations of my sculptures with a Disney villain-esque type feel to them, as you can see on the screen, 16 saturated, vibrant watercolor papers by Viviva, and these are an exclusive palette chosen for this kit, 12 buttery, smooth, and pigmented colored pencils, a Creatures of Darkness washi tape that has a rainbow array of the creatures with a dark background, and water brushes to make your water coloring more convenient. This kit is made with beginners in mind since I am also a beginner when it comes to watercolors, but I had so much fun coloring with watercolors when I played with it last time, so I figured why not share the fun? And we have three different price points. If you want to get the bundle, it is $39.99. The digital copy is $22.99, but if you want both the digital and the kit, they are $49.99. So you're getting a $75 value in that price tag. Again, I'll leave the link down below. And I have to say, I absolutely love browsing the submissions that you grades have been sending me of your own coloring interpretation of these pages. And again, huge thank you to everyone for the amazing support around this project. So definitely for me, it's Magic Corn. I'm curious to know yours in the comment section below. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click on all notifications while you're there because that will make you a grain of salt in the Salt Shaker family. And I have to say, I see that little play button at the bottom when we're scrolling for the images. So th that means there's a commercial. You know I want to watch the commercial. Okay, let's let's go ahead and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to press the button. I'm going to watch this together. All right, so there seems to be quite a few. Oh, look at that. That is quite... Hang on, you know what? Let me rewind just a little bit. So we do get the cake base, but it also looks like we do get a chance to do a kind of frosting. And that's why it looks kind of messy because it's just kind of splotched over there. Oh my God, the glitter. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh, we're going to try to be a little bit more classy, okay? We're going to do our best here. So I'm really curious, how smooth can we get? the frosting. I think that's going to be our number one challenge and the thing that we want to do the most is get a smooth frosting going. And again, we can see that there's a frosting kind of compound that we have to put. I'm curious what it is. Is it like a Play-Doh compound? Because I don't think so. It seems like we can just kind of slather it up there without moving it. Let's take a look at this scene right here. Yeah, you could just slather it on there. So that, I think, I think that's, that's what I'm most curious about is the kind of frosting. So we're not going to do Fantasy you see right now. We're gonna start with the one I'm least interested by, which is the Sweet Dazzle. And we're gonna keep the unicorn and under the sea for later. Voila, here you are. So let's go ahead and see what we get inside. Oh, okay. It seems like it does open basically like any other mystery box. We have a strip over here. So let's, oh, okay. Oh, let's hear that.
You know what? I really hope this is scented. Oh my god. If this is not scented, I'm going to be extremely disappointed. How do I open you? Do I just twist? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, can I not move this? Looks like I can. Okay, do I twist? Twist and pull. Oh, that's where all the surprises are. That's the frost. Oh, that is smooth. Oh my god. We have to be able to get something smooth. I've never decorated a real life cake before. I am not good at this. Oh, look at that. Okay, okay, interesting. And we have this thing over here. So we do have frosting that goes on top and frosting that basically sits at the bottom. Okay. And the cake base is 100% fully plastic. I don't know if the frosting is going to stick on it because the surface is really smooth. So I don't know if it's going to flake off. But we're going to find that out together. We're going to see what it's going to look like in 24 hours and then in 48 hours. We have the Scoopy. And then I'm guessing these are foam. Yep, they look like foam and they feel like foam. Oh, okay. Is that stickers? Are you stickers or are you just a print? That is a print. So we have a heart with a green center and then different random, oh, these are peppermint candies. Okay, we do have patterns on some of these things. It's kind of, oh, okay, kind of tacky. I have to say it's kind of tacky. <laughs> Oh, why is this sticking? That is weird. It has no rhyme or reason. We have fruits. We have a donut. We have hearts. We have a peppermint candy. Why is there peppermint candy? That's weird. This, this has no rhyme or reason. This is, this is absolute pure chaos. <laughs> and a strawberry with the shrimp. We're going to try to make this nice. What the heck? What are you? Why is this so tiny? It's a, it's a shape. Okay. And jelly beans. What? And then a heart that says too cute. I am confused. What are you? A cherry. Maybe we can make a fruitcake. I don't know. What is this? Drizzle. <gasps> no way. Okay, so this looks to be drizzle. And this is our frosting. So this is what covers the full cake. And this is what we're going to put on top. That's why, let's pull the picture back up, kitty editor. Look at that. That's why it looked like a mess. Someone just drizzled that stuff all over the place. Do we have instructions? No, maybe it's with a surprise. And I just noticed it has our favorite sentence ever. <clears throat> Includes everything you need. We'll see about that because I need instructions, but I don't see any instructions. Are there any? Is this, is this the instructions? <gasps> it is the instructions. So it does include everything I need. Oh my God. All right, so quick start guide says, number one, smush the whole thing on top. Okay, next. Wait, what, what? Hang on, what? So the reason I was a little confused is because the picture here shows that you're supposed to pour the cream directly on the actual cake itself. And then down here, it went from being on the top to being on the sides. So their pictures are just not consistent. <laughs> and if you feel like pausing, here's the instructions, but basically it says that you could put it any way that you want, but they do recommend that you put it directly on the cake itself. And it takes about 20 minutes to dry, which is not bad at all, but it doesn't say how long the drizzle takes to dry. I don't think it does, but it says that it keeps falling down. So we have to be patient. So we're gonna work really slowly. And don't worry, I didn't forget about the surprise, but we're gonna put the topper at the end. So we're supposed to remove this one. Oh, did I break this? No, okay, I didn't. Ooh. <laughs> So we pull this out. All right, got you, got you. Cause they're expecting us to make a little bit of a mess over here. Then we're gonna put our cake in here and twist, then a nice. Okay, I don't know why I'm nervous, but I am. But I have to say I'm kind of digging this design over here, which is kind of like jelly beans and candy. So we're gonna try and aim for something like this. I'm not sure if this is going to make a difference, but I do have my painting knives. I'm gonna see if that works. Actually, it is this height. That is, that is an almost proper height here, kind of, maybe, because this is tiny. This is way too small to get a smooth surface. This might not be the right one, maybe. Could work, not sure, but we'll try. If it doesn't work on this cake, we'll try on the other ones. All right, so here is our batter, frosting. Let's go ahead and open it. Please be scented. So far, nothing is scented, so let's take a good sniff of this one. <laughs> Smells like glue. So unfortunately, this cake does not smell like cake. Blech. Okay, I don't feel comfortable decorating on this, but I guess we'll do what they say and then we'll learn as we go. So let's put you on here, right? Oh gosh, here. And just so y'all don't yell at me and say, Jake, you're doing it wrong. I'm gonna use the spatula, okay? We're gonna use the spatula that came with this. All right, spatula, show me what you do. Oh, that is smooth. Oh, mama. What the heck? That is really satisfying. I did not expect this. Why do I like this? What the heck? That is nice. 
Okay, I kind of messed up though. So let's, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to decorate cakes this way, but let's, let's continue. Squish you here. Oh my God, that's, that might be too much. At least it's staying, look at that, it's standing. Okay, let's put you here, we'll even you out later. You know what, it needs a turntable. I do have a turntable, I am a crafter. Okay, we got some here, very nice. All right, let's get the other way. Okay, so I've put a little bit of that extra up here and I wanna try and go with the other knife, this one, and see if we can get something a little bit smoother. You know what, I do need, and I do need my turntable. Give me a sec. Ah, I got it. I'm gonna put you right on here. There we go. Now I don't know if it's going to stick, but at least we have something to turn. Okay, let's start over here. Oh, mama. I should probably start from the bottom, huh? I know many of you are probably yelling at me. I've never done this before. Okay, so let's start from the bottom and just kind of, oh, that is getting smoother. Clearly I still have a lot to learn. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Work my way up. What a mess. I shouldn't have made fun of the ones that were choppy. I'm not doing any better. Oh my god. Oh gosh. Hang on. I'm gonna put the extras up here. That is a mess. Why can't I? Hang on. I'm trying to get this spot down here. Like I saw. I don't want it to be messy. I want it to be smooth. Oh man. Do I need to go this way instead? Should I be going this way? For those of you who do cake decorating, my hat's off to you. This is, this is hard. This is really hard. I haven't even done the top part. Let's go. Oh no, I scraped off now! <laughs> so I went a different route by kind of pushing the cream upwards at first. And now I put a little extra on top because the edges, the corners were kind of showing. So I'm gonna do a little bit like this. I don't know if that's how you get corners for those of you who decorate cakes. Let me know, how do you get your edges? We're gonna do a little bit more on top. This knife is definitely working better for me. And I have to say, this is really cute. Okay, so here we are. I think the top is pretty good. It's gonna be mostly hidden anyways. But then for down here, this is where I'm struggling. They do give a lot of cream, by the way. Like, a lot of cream. So it's very generous. What a mess. What a fun mess. I wish I had more than 20 minutes to play with this. So there you go. We hide the edges. Okay, now I'm gonna attempt to smooth it out again. So I'm just gonna hold it this way and go that way. You know what? That's pretty good. Not too bad. Oh my God, not too bad at all. I feel like I might need a napkin to just wipe off the excess. So we're gonna wipe this part. Okay, oh gosh, it's drying. It's starting to flake. Oh no, oh no, no. We need to move faster, grains. Holy macaroni of shrimp. Macaroni of shrimp? I don't think I would eat shrimp macaroni. Actually, Alfredo sauce with shrimp is shrimp macaroni, right? Something like that. More wipey wipey. And let's go ahead and smooth some more. What is this? What am I doing? Oh gosh, I scraped too much. You know what? I'm gonna call it. This is as good as it gets. So it's definitely not the best piping or the best kind of spreading, but I have to say that um, I might have to try a different technique next time. I think people use parchment paper maybe. So we're gonna try it out on the different cakes, but for now we're just kind of experimenting. And since we're doing the drizzle and I do not trust this process, we're gonna put a little napkin underneath and let's give this a try. Voila. Does the frosting smell like anything? No, this is sad. Okay. All right, are you actually liquidy? It feels pretty thick though. Okay, there we, there we are. Okay, let's get the center first. So I'm gonna do this, like us so. Very nice. And we're gonna use the provided spatula just to get a good coverage. This is way thicker than I expected. I thought this was going to be way more drizzly. Oops, 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 I didn't put enough. You know what, let's just go ahead and put, and hopefully we'll have enough for the actual drizzle itself. I'm genuinely surprised. They were pretty generous with their actual frosting, but this thing does not want to go. Oh my gosh. We don't have enough drizzle to drizzle. Okay, let's just try to get as close to the edge as possible. And we're basically running out. So I'm gonna squeeze this as best as possible. There's a missed opportunity here to actually have piping tips in this. So if there is a series two and you are using piping tips, that's my idea. You need to collaborate with me and give me royalty. <laughs> Okay, let's try this drizzle. Okay, let's add to this edge. Let's see what happens. I'm just gonna try and get as much of the edge as possible and see if it actually self levels or if it does anything at this point. I mean, so far so good. Just the center here. Oh my gosh, there's like not enough. There you go. Yeah, that is not enough. I don't think we're gonna make the full round. Oh my gosh, can we make it? I don't know. This one definitely went way lower though. So we are kind of getting a drizzle effect. Hopefully it doesn't go all the way down. So while this is still drizzling, let's go ahead and see our surprise topper. So it looks like we can get either a donut, ice, well, popsicle, or an ice cream. So I'm going to say for this sake, let's hope for the donut, because the rest just won't match. Well, the ice cream could work. So either the donut or the ice cream. And we got the one I didn't want. <laughs> Why? 
Hey! We got the popsicle! Nothing's gonna match with you! Alright, we're gonna put you here. There. Nice. <laughs> and the worst thing is, we don't even have enough orange decorations. We have a couple of orange jelly beans, but that's about it. Alright, so let's add a few. Actually, no. We need to put this first. So we're gonna add the top cream ring, right? This is where it goes. It doesn't even fit the whole thing. There. Okay. And then we have the bottom part. So I'm just gonna... Oh my god. Where's the bottom? Oh no. Where's the top bottom part? I think it's right here. I think I covered it. Let me check. Oh, this is messy. Where is it? It's over here. Okay. So we need to insert this over here. Like us. So... Oh my gosh. Come on. This goes here. And this goes there. So let's push it down. There. Let's turn it around. Oh gosh. Where did you go? Like here. Are we good? There. There we go. Oh no. I totally messed the frosting. <laughs> Can we fix it? She's still beautiful! <laughs> Let's add our jelly beans. So we're gonna put this one kind of standing. Why not? Let's do something like this. We have the orange slice. So it's kind of like a creamsicle, strawberry, blue colored cake. <laughs> okay, so far so good. I have a orange star. We can put that here. Oh gosh. I made fun of people for doing this and I'm doing worse. I don't know why my star looks like it crashed into the cake. Clearly something happened here and we don't know what to do about it. It's like a shooting star straight into the cake. You know what? I think these are not jelly beans. I think these are supposed to be sprinkles. So I'm gonna put one here, another one. Oh gosh, let's let's hide my atrocities. Is that even possible? We have a red one. There you, oh gosh, there you go, there you go. How's the top looking? Top looking pretty empty. And the jelly bean definitely melted in there. Let's, let's make it even, there. You know what? It's a strawberry and orange cake. Let's let's move on to the next one. I have to say, decorating this cake is actually really fun, despite the fact that it looks like an absolute atrocity. Does it matter that it looks horrendous? No, because we're not eating it. And even if we were eating it, as long as it tastes good, that's all that matters too. So here it is after 48 hours, the one with the drizzle. It looks like an absolute mess. Look at it cracking everywhere. So definitely for this one. Let's go ahead and try the Magicorn one because I'm really excited about these colors. It looks like the decoration could also be pretty glittery, although they seem obsessed with hearts and stars. And here we go. And we're gonna twist you open. Voila. So the cream on this one is actually white. Interesting. What? We can either get a panda corn, okay, a unicorn, or a kitty corn. <gasps> no way. That's gonna depend on our frosting and all that. Let's go ahead, twist this open. We have our frosting. Pull this out. Voila. So we have a pink frosting, also still pretty smushy and delicious. I'm gonna avoid making smooth frosting. I'm just gonna try and make something cute. I say, because I gave up. Oh my god. We have trashy purple glitter. I'm not a fan of these glitters. I just don't like how saturated the colors are. Wait, we have no drizzle? What? No drizzle? Look at all these glitter pieces. We have clouds, we have a crescent moon, a star, we have hearts, clearly. Okay, is that a shooting star? We clearly have a shooting star Some. We have no drizzle! What the heck? Oh no! Oh look at this! This design is not straight, but it's kind of like diagonal. I like this a lot. So I'm gonna attempt to make diagonal frosting. <laughs> but I think we need to find out first what our topper is. So let's do that. And I'm hoping for the- you know what? All of them are cute except for the panda corn. I don't care for the panda corn. Please don't give me another one. <laughs> We're crying out loud. Are you kidding me? That's two! Two of the characters I really don't care about. What the heck? No! Oh man. All right. Let's, let's decorate this stuff. <laughs> now correct me if I'm wrong, but the cake base for this one is a yellowish color. I think the previous one was white. Right, kitty editor? Let's, let's see that again. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and put it on our base. Let's click you in. Voila. Wait, okay, I was like, where's my spatula? I got my spatula here. Let's open you up. Actually, I don't even need scissors. I just noticed there's a little, a little cut over here. Okay, okay. And let's go ahead and put you right on top. Oh gosh, oh boy, oh gosh, oh boy. There we go. And similar to the other one, we're just going to go ahead and spread it and see where it goes. I'm, I'm genuinely surprised. That, oh my gosh, no, do not make a mess down here. I'm genuinely surprised we actually don't have, you know what, maybe up here is not too bad. That we don't have a drizzle, but okay. You know what, that's not too bad because it means they're not just copy pasting the same thing over and over again, which I have to say, I do appreciate that they're not just changing the color of every single kit and saying this is a new one. A few minutes later. So I got everything pretty covered up and now we're going to take my palette knife. I don't like their other knife just because it's tiny, but what I'm gonna do is make those, oh gosh, I think my hand is too heavy for these. <laughs> I think I have a heavy hand. Oh gosh. 
Oh no, maybe I should use their spatula. Okay, we're just gonna do like this. Look at that, that looks good. I am discovering frosting. I am ridiculous. Let's clean that spatula and continue this pattern. I mean, this is making me want cake and I don't even like cake. Let me know in the comment section below, what is your favorite kind of pastry? I'm gonna have to say I really like cinnamon buns and I don't know if tiramisu counts, probably counting as a cake. There we go, voila. It looks like it's on purpose. <laughs> It almost looks like I know what I'm doing. Part of me wants to try it diagonally. So I'm gonna try and do a little bit more diagonal. That is that is quite the skill. No, I don't think I can do that. I don't think I'm equipped for that. Okay, how do we get the top even? Oh gosh, oh gosh. You know what? I don't think the top matters because it's gonna be covered in glitter anyways. There, it's a cake. <laughs> so since I really like this design, we're going to put glitter on top and see if we can get actual demi circles on the sides. I don't know if that's possible, but we're gonna try with a stencil anyways, and we'll take it from there. Now, the big question is, do they actually give us enough glitter? So we're gonna be very generous with our glitter on top. I don't, how, how will it stick though? I don't know if this is gonna stick. Do I need to use my fingers or my knife? I'm just gonna spread it and see if that helps a little bit. I'm just gonna tap them down so that they can stick. I don't want no loose glitters around my house. So far so good. And so to get the semicircles, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear out one of these pages, like a saw, and I'm going to take my scissors and just cut a semicircle kind of shape. I don't know, like this, I think. And I'm gonna try and make it so that it's a stencil like that. I feel like some of this glitter is gonna fall. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them in the trash, Let's see? Yep. Oh no. Okay, I think we're good now. I just, there you go. Okay, then we're gonna put this on the actual cake very gently like this, and then we'll add our glitter. I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh shoot. Oh, sugar snaps. Uh oh, okay, let's just tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it. Oh no, I contaminated the cake. <laughs> Oh no, I didn't expect that. No. Oh no. You know what? Let's remove our paper and see what happens. Does this help? Kind of. It, it kind. You know what? The bottom is just, is bonus. It's bonus glitter. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do it on the other sides. Oh no, it didn't work. Loose glitters. Photoshopping your results doesn't work. Toy companies, it's misleading as shrimp. And we did ask the question if they gave us enough glitter. And the answer is yes, not only for the cake, but we still have leftover and apparently decorating your entire desk, as you can see here. <laughs> this is messy. I'm not saying it's not fun. I'm just saying it's messy. So according to the rest of that cake, we're going to go ahead and put our panda corn. I'm not crazy about this one. And the little foamy decorations of the stars, the moon, and the heart. This is a mess, but we have our cream and everything on there. Here's my mess. Here's my cake. What are you gonna do about it? This is um, it's fun. I'm, I'm just purely saying this is actually fun I wanted to come here and bash this kit, but it's fun. So let's do the next one Here's what panda corn looks like after 48 hours. No cracking. It seems like the glitter is still staying I haven't really touched it probably. Oh look at that. Most of it's staying. Some is flaking off But basically what I expected still not my favorite to be honest, but it didn't crack and now under the sea. I'm hoping this is not going to be the third time we're going to get the charm that I do not want, but we're gonna check this out, so let's go ahead and open it. There we go. The base is a little between the white and the yellow. It's kind of its own thing. Okay, let's get, okay, we have purple frosting. We have the blue, kind of like turquoisey minty frosting at the bottom. All right, let's see what we have. Oh my God, okay. Okay, okay. No drizzle, there's no redemption. I was really hoping at some point I would be able to redeem myself, but no. Okay, so we have a purple frosting, no drizzle, none whatsoever. Oh, these are cute. We have sea-themed foam decorations. I really like the seaweed here. And then we get gems. We get gems instead of glitter or instead of drizzle, which I have to say is not that exciting, to be honest. We have our spatula. And then we have our top frosting and um, the surprise box. Let's get this out of the way. Or you know what? We should we should just build it up. Hang on. We can get a seahorse, a narwhal, or a mermaid. <sighs> to be honest, I only want the narwhal. <laughs> I'm making the odds worse for myself here. Seahorse is kind of cute. Narwhal is kind of cute. Mermaid is meh. So let's put this aside first and let's um, reveal it later. Let's check out the designs that they made for this one. So what are the options here? These are plain. I still like the diagonal kind of swirl here, but we do have frosting. You can put the gems on top. We do have just 
regular terrible frosting like I do, this is probably the most plain. I have to say, the undatasi is probably the least interesting of the three. Even though the first one that we started with was kind of not my favorite topic and ended up having a lot more components to it. So I think if we decorate, it's going to be with the seaweed at the bottom like this. Let's get you snapped in. Snap. You know what? Just hang on. Wait. So hear me out. We do have the purple, but I still have leftovers of the pink and the blue. I feel that's going to give us a really cool under the sea theme. So we're going to do all three and see where that takes us. And at this point, you grains know that I'm going to go ahead and start panicking and making my own little frosting. So we're just going to watch me put the frosting as best as I can before we start making any kind of patterns. I have to say with each cake, I'm gaining a little bit more confidence because it's looking half decent. I know it's not even, but that's because we're going to add our pink and blue. So I'm just going to use the cap here to pipe a little bit more. So let's squeeze you like a so and squeeze the blue like a so. So, oh my god, that looks delicious. And I'm gonna start off with just a little bit of the pink. Is this gonna mess everything? Probably. But let's give it a try because we have nothing else to lose. Ooh, okay. We're gonna block in some of our colors. And now we're going to put a little bit of that blue. Mm-hmm. We're starting to get kind of corally type colors. I'm telling you, I'm a genius. I'm a genius. <laughs> And I know that many of us are very similar because when I did the fidget toy elements video, some of you were like, I was really hoping you were going to mix everything and lo and behold, I did. This is the end result that we have right here. So I'm sure many of you were thinking, what happens if we put all the colors together? You're welcome. And here, my God, that looks cute. Like a, so, don't worry, they're gonna get a little mixed. Okay, that looks good. Now we're gonna mix it proper. So now the idea is I'm just gonna go like, oh gosh, that is too heavy handed, like this kind of get this cute little swirly effect. Gentle, gentle handed Jackie, you could do it. That's cute. Not, I know it's not very under the sea, but it's corals, okay? They're corals. And now I'm gonna just take both of these at the same time and just kind of slap it right on top. It's not like it makes, oh my God, that is, I like that. I really like this. Oh gosh, why is this cute? There, so that's gonna be the front of our cake. That's it, it's decided. So now is the perfect time to look at our topper because we have to put our topper in. And I noticed that this is actually sealed. I don't know why. This is the only one that's actually sealed. So let's get the tape. And again, here's hoping for anything but the mermaid. And the answer is, why is, why is this not opening? We find, oh my God, finally. We didn't get the one I actually really wanted, but the seahorse will absolutely do, especially because we did add the blue frosting. So this is going to make it pop even more. So I feel like we should put our, instead of facing forward, I think we should be putting it this way. So here's our little buddy, voila. And now we can put the frosting ring on top. There you go, voila. And now essentially it's all about decorating. And I really wanted the seaweed to be at the bottom. I figured fine, we'll put the gems. We'll just make sure that they are kind of the center piece since they are super special and holy carp I have to say this is my favorite cake decorated despite the fact that I actually said that this was not my favorite cake because it didn't have as much it actually turned out to be the better looking one but then again it's probably because I used the things from the other kits Having multiple colors of frosting really does elevate this project again company if you're going to add multiple colors in your next series you owe me royalties <laughs> Seriously, companies, if you want to hire me as a consultant, I have great ideas. This is ADHB, ADHB brain. <laughs> ADHD brain at your service. Our seahorse under the sea one, 48 hours later. No cracking, no weirdness. And honestly, it looks absolutely phenomenal. Let's just check real quick. Okay, these are staying in place. Yup, it's a really good hold and it's fully dried. Kind of like a foam air dry clay. Looking good. It is quite cute, very colorful, and just absolutely adorable. Let me know which one of these three is your favorite. Is it the desserty drizzle, the glittery mess, or the andadasi? If you want to watch previous miniature type decorations, make sure you click up here. If you want to watch me miniature cooking, make sure you click down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.